Okay guys, so this is what we're going to use to achieve the vegan fried chicken. These are cauliflower and I had um, the orange one, but you guys could use whichever, the white ones as well, it doesn't matter. But to start off this video, we're gonna go ahead and boil a pot of water and I'm just gonna add in a teaspoon of salt. So before we finish these, we're going to have to blanch them first. So we're gonna boil the, bring this water to a boil, blanch them, and then shock them in ice cold water to stop the cooking process. So we're gonna do that as soon as this water starts boiling. Okay guys, so now that our pot of water is now boiling, we're gonna go ahead and blanch our cauliflower for like one to one and a half minutes. Remember, we're not cooking them, we're blanching them. Blanch means to partially cook it, so we're not gonna fully cook it, so we're gonna do it for one minute or a minute and a half because I cut them thick, so we're gonna go ahead and do it for a minute and a half. So we're just gonna pour all of this in and once that's in, while those are blanching, guys, we're gonna go ahead and set up our ice bath. So we're gonna go ahead and dump some ice cubes into the bowl. And then we're gonna add a bit of water in there. So that we can shock the cauliflower and stop the cooking process. Guys, so we're gonna go ahead now and remove our cauliflower from the boiling water and just drop it in the ice water. So here we're stopping the cooking process. Just removing these and ensure that this is submerging the ice water. This is what we're doing here. Pulling it off rapidly. Just like that. Okay guys, so once the temperature has cooled down, we're gonna remove these from the water because we don't want it to absorb the, water, the liquid, too much liquid. So we're gonna go ahead and remove these and set them onto a paper towel. A bunch of paper towel. Okay guys, so here I have two bowls of all-purpose flour, a cup of flour in each, and I'm gonna be adding a few more ingredients. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt, rather a teaspoon to each of these bowls. And I'm going to also add a tablespoon Sorry guys, a teaspoon of garlic into each of these. Also gonna add a teaspoon of onion powder to both of these. And then I'm going to add sazon to one. And then just a sprinkle of black pepper in each of them. Now, as you guys can see, I also have breadcrumbs here. I'm gonna add breadcrumbs to this one right here. And I'm then, then I'm just gonna combine everything together. Actually, I think I might add some paprika to this one. So basically guys, I'm in this bowl I'm going to make a batter and then this one is going to be my breading station. So I'm gonna have one batter station and one breading station. So I'm going to batter the cauliflower. 
dip them in this batter that I'm making right here and then I'm going to bread them before frying them. So guys, now I'm gonna add the water into this bowl. And you always wanna add it slowly because you don't want your batter to be too runny or to be too thick to get it at the perfect consistency. So you add it, the water in stages. Okay guys, so now we're gonna start our breading process. So I'm wearing gloves for this step, but you guys don't have to wear gloves if you don't want to. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna batter the cauliflower. First, shake off any excess. And then we're gonna go ahead and bread it. Just like if you were doing fried chicken and this was your egg mixture. Or your um, butter milk mixture so it's basically the same <laughs> thing that we're doing we're batter in the cauliflower and then we're gonna go ahead and grid it Okay guys, so all our cauliflower was breaded. So now we're gonna go ahead and fry these. So follow me over here guys. So guys, here I have my pot on the stove with my oil. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. Once it heats up, I'm going to turn it on low so that Okay guys, now that our oil is hot and ready, I'm gonna go ahead and add my... Is it okay if I say chicken? <laughs> my chicken in there. Guys, I promise you, you will absolutely love this one. Does it look like chicken already? Look at it. Oh my God. It's not chicken. Well, it is for us vegans. For vegans. And go ahead and turn it around so that they don't burn or whatever. Okay guys, so here's our chicken. <laughs> guys, I'm saying chicken because it looks like chicken, okay? But you know what it is. This is our cauliflower vegan chicken. 
in the oil frying right now looking just like chicken. I really hope you guys try this. If you guys want to take a break from meat, like, okay, for Meatless Monday, you guys could do this, you know, or just, you know, regular vegan dishes. Here we go. This is a new one for you guys to try. Okay guys, so here is the finished product. Here's the vegan fried chicken. I went ahead and took a bite out of it. I'm sorry, I can't wait. It looks so delicious. But guys, I want you guys to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. That's the only way I'm gonna continue to do YouTube is if you guys support me by subscribing, making sure that you watch the video, making sure that you like the video, making sure that you comment on the video, and if possible, share the video on your social media so that other people could see the recipes and also enjoy them. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for always supporting. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.